Hello, my name is Mohan Rokhan. I'm a technical marketing engineer for Dell Technologies. And today I wanted to tell you something we found really cool using computer vision for medical imaging. Thanks, Mohan. I'm, I'm Steen Graham, and uh, I've had the opportunity to work with Mohan on some cutting edge medical imaging solutions uh, with, with AI, and uh, really thrilled to, to talk about those insights. Yeah, so, so Steen, the project that we're talking about here was done on a Dell PowerEdge 7625 server, right? Yeah. The server itself is absolutely brilliant. Comes with two CPUs, up to 96 cores each, a ton of DDR5 memory, PCI Gen 5, which means you can enable 100 gig ethernet really quickly. All of this allows us to do things in the AI realm that are, you know, you don't really need GPUs for some of this stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, as, as you alluded to, like it's a, it's a very powerful system, but I think, you know, what we'd like to kind of myth bust in this conversation is a lot of people haven't uh, taken the opportunity to use CPUs for mm -hmm. cutting edge AI solutions, both in the, the training or the, the transfer learning or fine tuning of a model, but also for the deployment of the model, Kind of the, the myth is that you need GPUs um, in all those instances. And I think even more so, um, we've seen less solutions based on the Epic-based processors as well. And so what I was thrilled to do is get a leading edge machine you know, from Dell and the PowerEdge platform used with just cutting edge hardware and really put, the, put AI to the test on those Epic systems. Absolutely right. Uh, I remember you shared uh, some details that we got up to 4X improvement with just some optimizations that Zen DNN offered. Yeah, absolutely. So like in, in this particular uh, solution that we built, we really wanted to kind of demonstrate uh, a medical imaging use case. And, mm -hmm. but we wanted to start out um, with, you know, a model that everybody kind of knows and is familiar with like ResNet 50. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were able to take a ResNet 50 model, train it on about uh, 29,000 plus images, um, looking wow. at pneumonia-based detection. And mm -hmm. that training process, by the way, you, you normally would think, hey, we gotta, we gotta create a GPU or we gotta go run a GPU workload. We got yeah. that done in about eight, nine hours. So just, just off the CPU? Yeah, just off the CPU. Wow. Yeah, and then you saw, when you talk about that 4X, you know, nearly 4X game, that's all based on that set of optimization guides we were given uh, from AMD via mm -hmm. the Zen DNN guide. We also used a, a technique around core pinning, mm -hmm. and you know the from two story there is yeah we saw a four x improvement once you once you did those optimizations and you know that's something I, I think for folks that are not familiar with that that's something that we'll release uh, mm -hmm. through our GitHub repo um, you know via Dell so you can kind of make sure that you get that four x improvement um, as well and that's manifested in, in in your use case. That's great. So if you're watching this and you're excited, go look for that. Right. Yeah. Uh, the other thing which I want to talk about we can do all these models, right? But at the end of the day, we need to get data in and data out. And some of these medical images are pretty large, aren't they? Yeah, they, they absolutely are large. And I think, so the, the other thing that we did here is just, you can't just kind of take a, a neural network, customize it for medical imaging, um, and then it magically works. Um, you have to be compliant kind of with the industry standards in the medical imaging fil uh, field. So, you know, we built, you know, kind of a, a custom implementation of a full medical imaging workflow uh, yeah. as a reference POC in this use case, uh -huh. um, using kind of the, the industry standard DICOM format, right, uh, right. the OHIF visualizer framework, which is an open medical imaging visualization framework as well. And th you know, through that integrated process, um, one of the things that's really important is the connectivity layer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, great, we got the we got the CPU up to the task to analyze these medical images and transfer learn based on these medical images, but you know, where's where's the networking bottleneck? And so we use, you know, for this use case, we use x-rays, which are rather small. Mm -hmm. But if you upgrade that to CT scans, right. you, you can actually see the average CT scan can go up to, you know, one gig. Um, wow. So quite substantial. And so you could be easily network constrained. Mm -hmm. And so you definitely don't want to do a gigabit ethernet network. Right. You know, you're going to want to upgrade to 100, 200 gig ethernet network. And we actually leverage, you know, Broadcom based ethernet um, in this implementation as well, because that's a that's a ubiquitous option in the market um, that you, you can leverage through your existing infrastructure Absolutely. as, as well. So. Broadcom makes some fantastic network cards. And with the with DDR, with the PCI Gen 5 connectivity, getting to 100, 200 gig uh, Ethernet is absolutely easy. And connecting to external storage, you know, we can always have some Dell storage in there. Uh, and and that you store all your large files there, use your Ethernet, and you have it right at your fingertips. Yeah. And, and absolutely, and from a security perspective, if we're 
you know, the intent is always to be compliant with, you know, industry standard policies like HIPAA, um, you will not only want to detect um, or secure detect uh, the data for any security intrusions when it's at rest in the systems, but as it's converting across that, that architecture from the DICOM server to the visualization to the transfer learning loop, you've got a multi-server architecture. And so that data in motion needs to have that. And so the, uh, the Broadcom-based root of trust capability um, and attestation that they offer allows that data in motion to be secured as well. That's, that's fantastic. I mean, we know we have the Dell cyber resilient architecture. We have the Broadcom root of trust built into this. And of course, AMD brings its root of trust and all the uh, performance to the table. Yeah. And looks like the collaboration of these three gives us some fantastic results. Yeah. And there's this to so many open source um, you know, capabilities launched in the medical industry. So you can leverage things like Di DICOM, the open source visualization technology to build these, these leading edge AI powered um, capabilities for medical imaging. And I, I, you know, one thing that, that we should talk about is, you know, for, for radiology, it's always human in the loop. And so the goal, the goal really here is to, to really improve patient outcomes mm -hmm. and give patients the insights that they need faster. And these radiologists are mm -hmm. extremely busy. And the, the number of medical images growing, you know, is a straight up line. The number of humans doing radiology, flat. And wow. so how do we make their jobs better? How do we make human in loop medical care better? So patients have, you know, better individualized outcomes mm -hmm. and faster responses, um, but also this type of information anonymized appropriately to be, you know, compliant with HIPAA and other laws can help us in, in new use cases like drug discovery as well. Um, because not one person can, can, you know, memorize and read all these images in, at an AI scale, we can take tens of thousands of images and create this expertise and ultimately lead to, to better uh, patient outcomes. That sounds like a great future that we are looking forward to. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Steve, thank you so much for coming out today and sharing those wonderful insights. Yeah, it was really a pleasure to, to work with you, Mohan and, and the team, and really excited about the future of AI innovation from Dell with uh, recent announcements for with Meta, uh, notably supporting the, the Llama-based models, uh, That's right. which, which we definitely use, and uh, you know, announcements with Hugging Face as well, which is our go-to spot for models. So you know, Dell is truly at the forefront of AI innovation. I am glad, thank you. <laughs>